Hey, uh, how, how are you doing tonight? Um, yeah, I was just uh, seeing what Sheila said today for the Detroit Lions, the owner Sheila Ford. Um, I think what the what their situation is going to be just like the Pistons, that um, the Piston coach was coach of the year before he uh, before he came to the Pistons. The Pistons have been crap since they they put him in there. It's been nothing to do with Dwayne Casey. Um, it's just that the team sucks because they're in a rebuild. And I think that the, the Lions are thinking the exact same thing. They think Dan Campbell is going to be a good coach and that they're not going to get rid of him because it's an incomplete team. This is not a complete team. They don't have a defense. They don't have... I guess they don't have a starting quarterback now because... I was saying that we should go with golf, but I don't think I don't think he's long term goal, uh, a long term thing here anymore, because he's he's just just can't do anything. So I think Dan Campbell, I think he's got this year, next year now that way she talks, or maybe longer if the team doesn't. You know they're having good drafts every year. Last two drafts have been good, and everybody that's like like oh well. Uh, the 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 second first round draft pick he hasn't played, so what? So what? Would, would he really been a difference? He's a rookie. Do you what what would the record be if he would have played? Do you think that they would have won like three games or something if if he was playing? He's a rookie. You have to have to understand. Rookies don't come in usually and make like a, like a, an impact like that. They're you're the best player on the team. And if they do, it's a very, very, uh, it's not always the case. You have to wait for rookies. That's the way it is. And uh, I like I like everything that's going on into the uh, Detroit sports right now. The, all the teams seem to be building. They all have a few core, uh, core players. And, um, you know, it's the next couple of years in Detroit might be half decently good. That team start to build towards something. But um, looks like Dan Campbell might be here for a while, and I'm not against that. At some point, I said in my last video, you have to roll the dice, and you have to say, this is our guy, we're going with him. You just can't every three years just replace everybody and say, geez, I wonder why we can't win. You look at all the teams that win, they usually have long-term coaches. They have long-term guys that are in charge because they let them build something. You can't build something in a couple of years when it was as bad as it was in Detroit. They didn't have a lot going on. They had bad drafts. They had whatever. They just the, the the you couldn't do any worse than what they've done. And now you've had a couple of good drafts with with Holmes, and they think Campbell's the guy. So I guess they're gonna roll the dice and go with them. Why not? Like. <laughs> I don't know why. Why in Detroit every every year it's like we're gonna win a Super Bowl. We're we're not we're not close to a Super Bowl. I I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings because every year everybody in Detroit, even though the team sucks or whatever, oh we're gonna do good this year. I know everybody's drinking the Kool Aid. I drink the Kool Aid every year too. But fact of the matter is, realistically, this team's not ready. It's about two years away from being a contender or at least at least being where you're in the you're going to the playoffs every year. This was a hope that they were gonna win like maybe seven games this year or something and it was gonna be a good season. It still might be. There's still a lot of games left to play. But it looks like this is gonna be where we're gonna get another top draft pick. And it's not going to be a quarterback. And if it is, then then this tr franchise is cursed forever. When your defense sucks, you have to bring in defensive players to make your defense better. Because it doesn't. It, we've already proven the offense scores almost forty points there the first four games, and we only won one of the games because the defense sucks. You have to build a defense. You have to. You can't win in this league if you only have one side of the ball that's good. It would be even better if the defense was really good and the offense sucked because at least at least they would be in games because you wouldn't be able to score on them. So 
so Dan Campbell, I guess, is our, our is going to be our coach for uh, for foreseeable future. On, um, I feel all right with it. All right, night, bye.